Looking for singles to finish your deck or collection? CCG Castle has a wide selection of cards at amazing prices. They also have tons of sealed boxes, tins, and packs as well. Use promo code EVO5 to save 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for Evolutionaries Gaming, and today we're going to be opening up one of the new tins that have come out recently. We've got... Uh, well, on the tins themselves are Scorbunny, Grookey, and Sobble. However, the cards inside are Cinderace V, we've got uh, Inteleon V, and Rillaboom V. So today we're going to be opening up the Scorbunny slash Cinderace tin and uh, see what we get here. These are... What are they? Actually, you know what? I just realized I don't think I've actually seen what they're calling these. If they're just called the Galar tins? I'm not sure. Hmm. Haven't really looked into that too much, but uh, these are all of the partner Pokemon V tins. Grass, fire, water types, the foundations of the Pokemon trainers team. Choose the thunderous beats of Rillaboom V, the speedy fire and quick moves of Cinderace V, or the shifting, splashing moves of the clever Inteleon V in the Pokemon trading card game Galar Partners tin. There it is. Each of these fantastic tins contain a full-powered and entirely awesome Pokemon V, fully evolved from a first partner Pokemon of the Galar region. So you got uh, each uh, each of these contain one of the Pokemon V, five Pokemon TCG booster packs, which is definitely an upgrade from the previous tins, and a code card to unlock the promo in the PTCGO if you are interested in that as well. So, let's go ahead and get this one out of the plastic and see what we get inside. I am curious to see how we will do in the pulls on these. Now, these tins are a little bit more than the tins that you uh, might be used to in the stores. Uh, other tins are 20. These are 25. So, that's the retail price of these if you get them in a store, like Walmart, for instance, which is where these tins did come from. Um, I guess just the cost of the larger tin and the extra pack are the reasons for the increase up another $5. Personally, I feel like it should have just been a couple, but, you know, I'm not in charge of all of that. So, let's take a look here first at the Cinderace V card, 210 HP. It's got Field Runner, so if a stadium is in play, this Pokemon, excuse me, has no retreat cost. So, free retreat if a stadium card is in play. And Crimson Legs does 140 for two fire and a colorless, so at the very least, you're not having to discard anything to use that. Most fire Pokemon have a big discard cost of some kind. This one does not, and that's a pretty good amount of damage for three energy that way. So that is the promo card for this one. What kind of packs do we have inside? Let's see. We've got two Sword and Shield packs. Makes sense to me. Cosmic Eclipse. Set prior, makes sense to me. Burning Shadows, that's an awesome set to have in here for sure. That's definitely something that uh, people are hunting for that uh, Rainbow Rare Charizard still. So, awesome pack to see there. And then, something that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but it still lingers around. I think it's just a bad running joke or a troll on behalf of Pokemon. Evolutions. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, well. I guess this is what we're starting with. All right. Let's see what we get out of this one. At least it's a green code card, which means there is nothing in this pack. So if there's anything good, at least they're in the other packs. We've got a Nidoran. We've got a Poliwag. Grass Energy. we got Rattata. Vulpix. Venusaur Spirit Link. we got Magmar. Potion. Reverse Hollow is a Doduo and an Electrode. Regular rare. All right, so I think I'm gonna do the Burning Shadows pack last. We're gonna do Cosmic Eclipse next up. We'll do the Two Sword and Shield after that. Let's see. We'll put the pack over there. Code card over there. Energy over there. And for this pack, we've got a Drillbur, Tangela, Eevee, Duskull, Timpole, Gloom, Lana's Fishing Rod, Chaotic Swell, Reverse Hollow, Rock Rough, and a Hollow Alolan Ninetales, Rubbish Blizzard. That's such a funny name. Cool. Very cool. Um, hollow we'll put in the background over here. 
Apparently hollows are very common in these tins so far from what I've seen. Ultras definitely are not common at all. <laughs> but this one may have something, so let's see what we get. Oop, 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 oop. Well, I may have just spoken slightly too soon. We've got a Skaroopy. We got Clobopus, Wooloo, Sobble, Pincurchin, the peanut face, Dotler, Corvusquire, Great Ball, Reverse Hollow is a Noctowl, which is a rare, and a full art in DDV. Very nice, very nice. This is now the second full art in DDV that we have pulled so far. I like the green background on it. It definitely uh, doesn't make you feel like it's a psychic type card, even though we know it's a psychic type Pokemon. But yeah, that's uh, very interesting. All right, so we got a hollow and a full art with two packs left to go. Only one dud pack so far. That's not too bad. We got another sword and shield pack up next. Come on. Let go of the cards pack. It was caught on one little corner that did not want to give up. All right. Three, one, two. All right. So we got a Joltic, Silly Cobra. Tricks are for kids. Blipbug, Goldeen, Yamper. We got Slazzle, Doug Trio. I love this Doug Trio card. I don't know how I didn't notice at first the second set of Doug Trio and this one in the background. But look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> Doug Trio looks so much more animated that way. I love it. Such a great card. Pokemon Center Lady. Reverse Hollow is a Vitality Band. And oh. Oh, what? Oh, shoot, we got a secret rare gold air balloon. What? Oh, this tin is busted. A full art and a secret rare. Are you kidding me right now? Wow, that is super cool. The retreat cost of the Pokemon that this is attached to is two colorless energy less. Uh, yeah, I'll take some gold. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Although that probably means we're not going to get anything in the Burning Shadows pack. But that's okay, because Sword and Shield came through unbelievably well for a tin. Two packs and two major hits. Uh, what? Even if it's just a hollow, four out of five hits? Are you kidding me? What the heck? I don't know. I can't tell what that one's going to be. Oh, my gosh. We got a Sandy Ghast. We got a Venipede. Sneasel. Alolan Vulpix to go with that Alolan Ninetales here in the background. We got a Horsey. We got Dusclops. Metapod. Ew. Simmy's here. We got a reverse hollow Tynamo and okay, it's a hollow. It is a hollow, but still, hollow Kingdra, hollow Alolan Ninetales, full art, NDDV, and secret rare air balloon. Try saying that 10 times fast. Secret rare air balloon, like rare air, rare air, rare air, over and over again. <laughs> I guess it's not as hard as I thought it would be in my head, but wow, what a 10, guys. Five packs, and the only one that didn't have anything in it was Evolutions. <laughs> How fitting. How fitting is that that Evolutions was the dud pack in all of this, and this is probably the least wanted pack that anyone could ask for. This is like the perfect 10. If Evolutions has to be in something, at least it's the only one that didn't get anything. That's awesome. Wow, you don't get odds like that in a booster box, let alone, let alone a 10. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, guys. Well, I'm definitely satisfied with this. I mean, Sword and Shield was the MVP of this 10 without a doubt. So that is super cool. And a couple of hollows to boot. To raboot. Raboot. <laughs> I'll stop there. 
All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and you know, it seems that the shirt that is somewhat transparent. Gee, thanks, Grookey. I can see through you. And I can also see through, see through Score Bunny's background. This is kind of weird, actually. I'm kind of. <laughs> this is really weird. Ah, uh, gotta love green screen, right? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, week, whatever else is ahead when I, this video actually does go live. And we'll see you guys next time.